Hello, I'm Nancy Flores, and I'm the Operations Director with Voces de la Frontera, and um, I am joined by... Yaritza Brito, I'm a volunteer for Voces de la Frontera. And we are Voces de la Frontera, the Madison chapter. So today we're going to be debunking some myths where, in regards to immigration. So for, in the interest of time, we're only going to be doing three, um, but throughout this we want to provide some context. Uh, about the current debate on immigration, as well as talk a little bit about what, what we're doing here in Madison uh, and, and, and what set the tone for our work and our presence here today. So let's dive right in. All right, Nancy. So I heard that immigrants are stealing jobs. Is that a myth or a fact? Uh, according to the New York Times, uh, an article that was profiling a, a report which was assembled um, from research uh, of 14 leading uh, economist, demographers, and other scholars, uh, and I quote, Little to no negative effects on overall wages and employment on native-born workers in the longer term was found, said Francine D. Blau, an economics professor at Cornell University who led the group that produced the 550-page report. Uh, in the last two decades, the number of immigrants in this country has increased to 70%. So about 43 million people uh, in the U.S. are immigrants, meaning that um, they are now 13% of the population. One in every four Americans is either an immigrant or the child of one, like me. And uh, yeah, so uh, since 2001, about one million immigrants have come legally to the United States each year. The report called immigration integral to the nation's economic growth because immigrants bring new ideas and add to the American labor force that otherwise would be shrinking um, without them. So this helps ensure um, our growth for the future. So myth debunked. Definitely debunked. All right, Nancy. And if it's easy to come to the U.S. I'll tell you from personal experience that that is absolutely false. Um, if people had the option to do it the right way, um, you you bet they would. You know, and, and I think that a lot of times that is that is what's at stake that people don't have that option. Um, so, for example, this this particular myth really bothers me because my husband uh, was undocumented for 10 years and um, about six years ago we got married and just to give you a glimpse into what millions of different families go through to adjust status, um, our process lasted about three years and in this time he lived in Mexico and I lived here in the United States. Um, so if, if people had the option to come here legally on a plane with a visa or come here without documents um, possibly risk their life crossing a border, a desert, a river, um, which one would you choose, you know? Yeah. I, I think that that's something that people um, fail to understand that a lot of times the options are just not there. So myth debunked, it is not easy to come here uh, legally. Um, and is it true that we can't do anything about current attacks on immigrant families? Um, this is also not true. Um, immigrant, there's a lot that we can do and there's actually, um, this is the reason why we are continuing our efforts here in Madison. Um, Voces de la Frontera in the past year has grown our membership by almost 30%. Um, we are holding monthly meetings. Uh, we have created a pretty big um, base of supporters, both immigrant and allies. And um, we, we want to continue doing it. And, and with your support, we, we think that we will. Um, but I know that in 2016, there was a real catalyst in the city of Madison through a campaign that I think was a real breakthrough for, for people in Madison and, and for our work here. And I know that you were a really big part of it. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how the community responded? Yeah, so we had a really big response from the community. And it was beautiful to see um, how many students and how many families, adults, uh, workplace has actually got involved and you know actually wanted to put forth um, the effort to to say hey we're against these two anti-immigrant laws that have been proposed and both allies and immigrant families undocumented families legal and un, you know undocumented um, came together and it was a beautiful demonstration and uh, more than 6,000 students actually walked out it was wow. a huge huge thing for high school students um, and it was just beautiful to see how much um, student-led that was, too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, small kids, even in um, baby carriers, were there. And yeah. It was just, it was amazing. And we've had a wonderful response. Absolutely. We, we can do something about what's happening, the current political climate, the attacks on our families. And um, we definitely 
plan to continue and with your support, I'm sure that we will. So that that's a wrap for us. Thank you. Thank you.